hello there this is mtg welcome to this video in this video i will show you how to sell the cryptocurrency for za for south african rents or any fiat currency depending on where you are in the world and then how to withdraw your fiat currency like south african rents into your bank so without any further ado let's get to the meat and potatoes first thing you want to do is to launch your binance app if you don't, don't have it on your phone obviously you would have registered your account uh, verified it by completing KYC and then downloading the Binance app. So in this case, I'm assuming you've already done all of that. You, you even have some money in your Binance wallet and you want to convert that money into South African rent so that you can withdraw to your South African bank. So to do that, let's just go to the portfolio first to see how much we've got here. You can see that I've got uh, 76 USDT. I cannot withdraw that 76 USDT into my bank account because South African banks do not understand dollars. They understand rents. You can see that in my ZA wallet, there is nothing there. So that means that I need to convert my $76 into South African rents and then withdraw South African rents into my bank. So how do we go about converting re uh, dollars into rents? It's very easy. You click the trade button at the bottom here and then click on a sell where it says sell crypto to ZA. Just click on sell. By default, it will select BNB. It assumes that you want to sell a BNB for ZA, but in our case, we know that we want to sell USDT for ZA. So what we will do is click this back button to go back to the list of the cryptocurrencies that are available. In our case, we're going to sell USDT. So I just selected Tether USDT there. Specify the amount that you want to sell for ZA. In this case, I want to sell $76 and then click on sell button and confirm. And then what you want to do is you want to select the fiat balance because you are converting South Africa, I mean uh, USDT into South African rents. So by default, you can see that it says the bank transfer is selected. But in our case, we want to convert dollars into rents. So I will select this option here the fiat balance and then click on and then before i click confirm you can see that it shows me the estimation of how much i will get in south african rent right which is 1.4 in this case so 76 dollars is worth around about 1.4 in south african rents just click on confirm after doing that it's processing my transaction now as you can see now what i have been able to do is to convert $76 into South African rent. Now I can go back to my wallet and when I refresh, I should have some balance in my South African rents wallet. As you can see, I have 1,404 rents. Now the final step is to withdraw my South African rents into my South African bank account. So how do we go about doing that? Just click on South African ZA. And then click on the withdrawal and then indicate how much you want to withdraw and uh, before i even indicate how much i want to withdraw you would notice that there are two options i can use the linked uh, bank accounts i've already linked it if you don't know how to link your bank account with your Binance wallet it's very easy just click on linked payments then click on continue and then you will be required to then uh, in my case, it says edit bank account because I've already linked it. But if I wanted to link another account, I will just click on edit account and then click on link via Stitch. And then I can link it with um, any of the banks that are going to be listed here, like ABSA, Capitec, FNB, NetBank, Standard Bank, and so on and so forth. So I've already linked mine with my FNB account. So I'm good with that. So I'll go back. Another way you can also use, you can use a bank transfer. Right. Um, but in my case, I will not do the bank transfer. I will use the the linked payment method or the linked payment account. So the first option is already selected for me. Um, I will just click on continue. But before I continue, you can see that uh, both options will have your money uh, deposited into your bank account within one business day, especially if you do it uh, during the business days and during the business hours. So uh, select the method you want to use, whether you want to use the linked bank account or you want to do a bank transfer or EFT. In my case, I'm going with the first option. So I click continue. And then you will see the balance that you have here in your ZAR wallet. Indicate how much you want to withdraw. In my case, I want to withdraw 1,400. 
and then press continue and you will should be able to see the name the account name that you uh, that you linked with your Binance wallet in my case you can see my name there and the first two numbers of my bank account and the, the four last digits of my uh, bank account so everything is looking good and it shows me that i will receive 1.4 so i'll just click on confirm and then again just click on get the code to confirm that you are the owner of the account you are trying to withdraw from and after entering the verification codes just click on submit and the withdrawal order submitted all right so it has been submitted if i if you did these withdrawal within the business working hours during the business days your money will reflect within one business day so basically that's how you go about uh, withdrawing fiat currency from your bank account I mean, sorry, from your um, from your Binance account into your bank account. So, and my my one here is still reflecting here. Even if I refresh, it is still showing here because it is still being processed. But once it has been processed, it will leave my Binance ZA wallet and it will show up on my bank account. So I hope this video has been informative. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below or just uh, text me directly on WhatsApp. Thank you for watching. The name is Moosa the Giant from Durban, South Africa. Bye for now.